Hey gang, Diana here today and uh, welcome to the studio and I hope you're having a great day. I have some great news, some exciting news to share with you and that is that i am been asked to join the Faber-Castell Design Memory Craft Design Team. So not only is that good news for me, I think it's good news for you because I'll be able to spend some time really exploring their products and bringing them to you in a tu in the form of tutorials and get you going with some with some new ideas so this first my first project is it's probably up on the blog by now and I will link that below and the first product project is to use uh, gelatos and uh, some of the Faber-Castell, wonderful Faber-Castell pens that I've used for years and, the, and as well as the gelatos which I've used. And uh, so I am scanning through some of my old journals to get some inspiration. I'm pretty sure I want to do flowers and um, I know watercolor y on gesso thing, but I just thought for imagery I'd I'd uh, go through some of my old journals, and people have been asking me to do that. So this happens to be a journal from Italy when I was in Italy a few years ago, and I'm thinking I might want to do something a little different, like uh, some of these houses and these hills. I don't know. There's so much. This is, but this is um, one of the ways. I also really love this. It's very mysterious, sort of. This, this Mongo journal here is probably my favorite to mine for inspiration because I did, first of all, it's huge. So it encompasses a lot of work. I've flipped through this before I know. But there's a lot of drawings in here. And um, there's a lot of stuff in here in general. I think this is probably one of my favorite journals altogether. Oh, these are nice. Hmm. Maybe I'll think about doing something with these. I even have a tab on that page. There's clouds. I've been thinking a lot about clouds lately. Like a whole lot, but that's because it's been super rainy around here. See, and on this kind of a page, this is a very in-the-moment page. Um, oh. Hope the thing with feathers. Hope is the thing with feathers. I still have some blank pages in this journal. Wow. This is not a journal you can carry around with you. <laughs> this is a definitely a studio journal. This is um, one I've been working on and off with for a few years now. I do that sometimes and it is a little bit frustrating for me to do that. That's a page I did recently with some stamps. It's a little frustrating because I don't have a sense of continuity. So I'm changing that habit. I have a couple more over here. Let's see what we've got. I don't see my very most... I'll find it. This is one I just finished. I just finished this journal. And I like this windblown flower right here. That's kind of fun. See, now I'm going to get overwhelmed with ideas. But, not really. I could just flip to any one of these pages and say, that's what I'm going to do. I'm mostly, I'm doing this for a flip through for you guys. But I'll put a little sticky note on that. Here's some more sort of rock formations and stone doors. <laughs> I'm trying not to complain this summer. I did that. That was just a couple months ago and I don't. I like summer but it gets the humidity and the heat is just too much for me. 
I like this. <laughs> I think that's funny. I like to have fun like that in my journal and just kind of do things sort of tongue-in-cheek a little bit. This could be fun too, actually. It might be, um, this might be a good composition. I might just go with this composition because I've been meaning to work with it. So I think... Um, Here's one of my rescue book journals that I've been working on. Uh, this is from a class that I have on my blog. You, I'll link to it down below if anyone's interested. I think people are actually calling these junk journals these days. I'm not sure. But um, this is. these are mostly... Um, see, now I'm looking at this and thinking that would be a really nice kind of idea. See, so now I have too many ideas, but I could combine this background that I love with this composition. So I'm going to keep these two. I think that's probably what I'm going to do, but let me just go flipping through this a little bit. And this is one I work in pretty regularly. And this is just washi taped in a photo that I really love that I find inspirational pocket. Another photo. See, these are here for inspiration. So that, and then more, looks like that page, these pages are stuck together, but that's okay. Um, more flowers and a painted, I like this painted background, this checkered sort of painted background. That's just, again, a stencil um, and some paint. So just disrupting that page, you know, so you're not looking at the blank page. I have in here black paper, an old calendar, um, all different sorts of papers, vellum. I like to work in this kind of a journal. That's an envelope, I think, or maybe it's just a piece of, yeah, I think that's just a piece of paper, vellum, I love vellum, just a composition, just that's kind of a cool composition. So that's it for today and I'm excited to be working with Faber-Castell and Design Memory Craft and bringing you more projects and I hope you enjoyed this sort of semi journal flip and mining for information and inspiration. I will see you soon. Diana out.